welcome to, to Norway. Norway. <laughs> <laughs> back shot there <laughs> we're obviously not in the motorhome excuse me we are on another cruise um spoiled aren't we <laughs> <laughs> so as you know our ferry was cancelled to go to france in millie the motorhome and the weather wasn't looking very good in france so we stayed home we cancelled our leave but a couple of weeks later we were both like I really want to go away I'm itching to do something and actually are we allowed to do that thing well, not on TV. It's illegal, isn't it? Not this sort of TV. So, obviously, I started a little travel agency business oh, a few yes. months ago. So, yeah. this video is brought to you by <laughs> Diamond Travel. Diamond Travel. So, yeah, so anyway, a couple of weeks ago, no, not a couple of weeks ago. A week ago, I was just looking at various things and said to Mark, oh, look at this amazing deal. This looks good. And he's like, yeah, well, we wouldn't do anything. It was like an all-inclusive sun holiday and we just would get bored lying around by the pool. And he said, oh, have a look at cruise. So we did. And we saw this cruise and we were like, right, we've got to book it. That was a Friday. The cruise was the following Saturday. Mm. And it is on p and Iona again. Oh, again, yeah. And we are doing a, well for me, a bucket list cruise to the Norwegian fjords. Mm -hmm. um, it left from Southampton and we are making our way to the Norwegian fjords right now. To Norway. We're going to, what's, what places are we going to then? We are going to, hang on, I've got this, I've got this, Stavanger, Olden, Alisund, Alisund. Hulkesund. What about Sand. Christiansund? No. Not going there? No. Not oh. in that one. So yeah, so it was a last minute cruise. We couldn't even choose our cabin. So um, we are in an inside cabin. I, I would have loved a balcony cabin on this cruise. We always said we'd get a balcony but cabin. But they're so pricey, but, aren't they? Yeah, they add on extra money. So we're in pretty much exactly the same cabin that we were on um, when we were on the January cruise. So we won't really bother showing you the cabin. You can go and have a look at the previous video. So we um, we we parked a car for those who look at the Elizabeth uh, Hotel. It was sixty eight pounds for the week. I think it's still out of season price, that isn't it? A little bit, yeah. yeah a little I think bit more we paid expensive. Forty pound for a week in November, didn't we? And mm, then it starts to for two weeks. yeah, it starts to creep up from now on into the summer. But so we parked our car there at the hotel, and then we caught a bus, right? Which we did last time. It was a couple of pound each, wasn't it? Yeah. And it dropped us within. I don't know, 500 metres, 400 metres from the cruise terminal. Yeah. Um, and then we just bimbled across. The weather was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, the weather was yeah. good. We had to queue a little bit longer in the terminal than we did last time because our boarding yeah. time was a little bit earlier. But, but it's it, fine. Pretty seamless transfer, and, you know, yeah. and uh, cost effective. And we did the same thing. We've brought alcohol on board and lots of coke and stuff for me. Mm, so don't touch that. the stuff myself. But. And we didn't spill any of it. We didn't spill any like last time. No. That was good. So our first day has been at sea. Um, obviously going up the English Channel and then mm. um, the North Sea. So we've had quite a chilled out day. Well, I say we've had a chilled out day. That's not quite true. Mark went to the gym. Did a little bit of pump and iron. I went to fit steps and line dancing. Um, we've seen a show yeah. um, that we didn't get to see last time, Tribo. Um, what else have we done? Can't remember. Keeling. Well, you went to the Keeling Cow on the first day for your T-bone steak. Mm -hmm. um, it was celebration night, so we um, got all dressed up. We went to um, the main dining room had quite a nice meal there, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, we also went to the Seven Ten Club, so we fit fitted quite a lot in the last the the first couple of days. So we will be in Stavanger tomorrow, and we will see what we get up to there. And yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy watching this cruise. Watching this cruise. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, it's another cruise. We are very oh, not another cruise. We are very passionate about cruising. Cruising was our thing before we got the motorhome, yeah. and we still do lots of motorhome stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we like doing these things as well. So this is this year, 2024 is a cruise year, really. Yeah, we're um, kind of making up for the three years that we didn't do cruises, cruises, we cruises some, in COVID. Got some big plans for 25, haven't we? And we're gonna we're not going to elaborate on that right now, no. but um, we've got some big plans in the motorhome for 25. So yeah, so we will see you in Stavanger. Hello. Tourist information. So we've stepped off the ship and within 30 seconds, a minute, we're at the tourist information office. We've got a map. Somebody didn't bring their sunglasses. No. Can't see anything. And now, we don't know what we're doing. We're just going to go for a bimble, but look. No, I've got a map. Look, look at. Look at oh, there's the ship. Oh, look. Look at the size of our ass. <laughs> That's tidy. Tidy, as my, my friends in Wales would say. But it's tidy. Look, they're getting on a little ship, Manda. Little cruisy boat. Let's just go for a walk. We're going to go for an explore. <laughs> what are you doing? We are going to walk along here so we get a really good photo of the ship. Yeah. And then I think we're going to go and find the cathedral. And then we're going to go and find the old town. But lots of people, so if you see like over there. Oh look, they're going out in their boats then. They're going out on like rib boats. Well, they're going to have some fun, aren't they? So they're going to go on like um, a tour of the fjords and they'll get to see something called the Pulpit Rock, which is this massive rock that you can hike up to. Wow. Is it working? All right. Here she comes. Go oh, there. No. Careful, concentrate, concentrate. You, look at you. <laughs> Megan, uh, we just hired these two scooters, but I might have hired three. <laughs> I don't know how the app works, but oh well. There's a lovely lake down there. Yeah, these are quite easy to hire though. These, you download the app and then scan that barcode and then you get charged a thousand pounds. And you can oh, ride <laughs> and you can ride them all around the town. <laughs> yeah, there's a scooter there. But that's probably there's a lot of people there, so maybe. Okay. Oh, she's going through it. Wait, you be careful. as an observation post for the town's watchmen and replaced a nearly 200 year old decrepit wooden tower, 26 metres high. They could see from one end of the town to the other and any sign of fire would be quickly observed and the inhabitants warned by means of the tolling of the bells and firing of the cannons. The last watch at the tower was carried out in 1922. And it overlooks the city, the harbour and everything. Wow. Great views, great views of the ship. <laughs> what we did was we scanned this barcode to start with, and then that gives you access to the app. And you download the app, okay? And then it says scan. So I'm going to scan this barcode here. And then I am going to press start and that'll activate this bike. And then I'm gonna unlock more bikes. I need to unlock one for Manda. So I'm gonna unlock this one, scan it. Success, it's found it. 
it's got 72% battery, da 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 da, start, listen to the noise, and you're away. We just spent, how long on them a minute ago? Half an hour or Half so. Half an hour and it cost? 30, no, 12 pounds, 12 pounds but it's good fun. Yeah, it's really good fun. <laughs> just be careful coming down this steep bit. Oh yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> She's away. Pretty fountain. Yeah, nice area. You having a good time? I'm having a fab time. <laughs> Mate, these scooters are ace. Now, if you can do it, I really recommend you try and hire some scooters. Perhaps not in London, but kind of, this place is not that super busy, is it? Lanes that you're allowed to go yeah, on. they look after cyclists and people from scooters and things, don't they? But we do need to find someone now to have. We've got to have a little bit of um, culture. No, We've been to a, we went to a tower. Been to a tower. Um, we need to find somewhere to have a drink. Yeah, please, and, and use and the uh, sort of waffle or something. <laughs> yeah, if not, we're going back to the ship to do it, and then we'll come back out again. Yeah. behind we went back on the ship and we had some lunch Mark had a pint, pint a pint a pint of beer because it was probably cheaper than buying one in the town definitely cheaper and now we're having another look around on foot might get some chips <laughs> get anything it'll be a waffle a waffle you talk waffle <laughs> We found a very, um, well, apparently it's famous now. It's called Colour Street. Yeah, and all the houses are different colours, right? And it's what, been around 15, 17 years, yeah, the lady said? Yeah, something like that, the lady said. With our own little tour guide. With your hand Alarm, five o'clock this morning, so that we could watch the main thing sunrise at 5:43. Yours, you know, one of the once in a lifetime things that you do, and yet again, it's foggy and misly and new sunrise. It might come to that, it might not. <laughs> The ship doesn't dock till nine o'clock. It's going to be like what? Sailing. Oh no, it's moving. I'm, I'm optimistic. We are optimistic. Yeah, then we're going to get some packing views. Yeah, they're already pretty good, actually. Even if it is a bit crazy.
we doing? We're going on a sky lift. We're in Lowen and we're Lowen, doing the yeah. Lowen sky lift. Yeah. Which is apparently the steepest sky lift in Europe. Is it? So we've got our tickets. We've got scan our tickets. Like. <laughs> Where are you scan to? Where did you scan it to? Should I? Underneath. Turn it around oh, on the yeah, barcode. Oh yeah, turn it like the car parts. <laughs> <like that. laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get any view. Yes, we are. But it is snowing and there's lots of snow out there. It's so really heavy. <laughs> I can see an igloo, Amanda. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Where are we? We are in Lowen. Lowen. L-O-E-N. Yeah, the sky lift. Yeah. The sky lift. And yeah. um, we were hoping for an amazing view, but it's snowed and there's so much snow, which is probably unusual for us to see snow, <laughs> but not here in Norway. You've so. got to do, these are, these are one of the things you've got to do when you come to Norwegian fjords in it when you're in the area. Leo. Yeah, apparently this is the one thing, one of the one things to do. And there's also a glacier, isn't there? So mm. we decided to do this one, and because um, we were like going to get amazing views. So you can do this as an excursion from the ship, but we did it ourselves. So we just jumped off the ship, didn't we? Found yeah. a bus stop, local bus stop, paid what five quid each as I went for the bus ticket, and then we paid how much is it for this? 36? I think it's th it works out about thirty-six pound each. Yeah, up and down. Yeah. And um, obviously it's, it's what everyone does. If it, we were quite high up, it's quite a big If there's a chance of snow, time. it's probably a good idea to have some sort of hiking boot on. So Mark's got like a hiking boot on, I've just got my normal boots. But if the weather was clear, obviously you would be able to see miles. But as it happens... <laughs> anyway, we're going to go for a bimble up, up there. Not right up there. There's some igloos up there. Arthur, don't go off on your own, mate. Arthur? You don't know that they're there. I've got ice balls. We're in an igloo. Gosh, it's very dark in here. This is the ice cream that's thrown. Ice cream? Ice cream. Over. There's loads of walks up here. Um, two kilometres to eight kilometres. So it's gonna be a nice place to come, mate. Yeah, like this when there's no snow. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit risky. And then you get split up. Goes, it goes down, it goes down. What's it draw, it's so steep. Yeah, it just drops. You watch it's like a fairground ride. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. I'm not good with them. Oh. <laughs> you stay up here, it's quite warm. Whoosh. They do not go down very quickly. Yeah. It's starting to cool it. Oh, you can see yeah. the car park, look. That's wicked, isn't it?
Papa guys. So we're leaving Mont Haven behind us and the Lowen Sky Lift and we made our way back to our bus stop where we caught our bus, didn't we? Yeah. And um, it was what time? 12 o'clock. Yes. And the bus doesn't come till two o'clock. And it takes an hour and 10 minutes apparently to walk back to Olden where the cruise ship is. We're going to do a little jog. <laughs> so we're going to go for a little bimble. Um, build up an appetite for lunch. Build up an appetite, yeah. We just scoffed like a cinnamon bun thing, didn't we, at the top of the cheap, too cheap up there. But we think it might be um, main roads, some of it, not most of it. So hopefully we'll be all right. Show, show the guys the, the scene. Oh, we're walking past like a holiday park. There's loads of caravans and stuff. Yeah, so the camera around, let the see. Oh, there's a home. Oh, there's a motorhome park up as well, look. How exciting. We can come and stay, do some fishing <laughs> and some trekking. We got really excited in Skavanga yesterday because we were up on the ship having lunch and Mark was having a beer at the... Um, I was not. Yes, you were, at the aft, so overlooking the harbour. And we saw a Millie the motorhome, didn't we? Yeah, we saw a burster. We saw a burster, just like Millie. And it went all the way around the harbour. So we had a look and yeah, we found where there's a motorhome park up. So how much was the excursion on the cruise ship? If you bought the excursion to go up the sky lift, which included the, the transfer, how much was it per person? I think, I think it was £69. Right. Per I person. think, yeah, per person. I'll have to double check that. So, so far we've paid bus. £3.50 each for the bus to get us here. And then it was about £36 for the ticket up Says. up the um, cable car. About £40 pound each then. So at the minute our excursions cost £40. And we're walking back to get a bit of exercise. Burn off some of the food, burn off some calories with all the cruise food we've been eating. Yeah, and the weather's decent, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it was there. snowing quite heavy up the top there, yeah. but it's dry now. So yeah, so £36 to go up the cable car. And obviously there was no view, which it's usually what happens to us when we go up a cable car. <laughs> but um, quite amazing to see all the snow. And Mark, what did you say? We went in an igloo. Igloo, yeah. That was quite cool. We threw some snowballs. You threw some snowballs. And yeah, so heading back to the ship. And it looks like the pavement is about to run out. And there's quite a few big lorries going up and down here, darling. Be all right. <laughs> You're gonna lose the pavement, is it? Maybe we can stay on the inside of the grass bed. We've just seen a helicopter landing and then take off and then a van drive off. So we've just walked past where you can go on helicopter flights, yeah. haven't we? And somebody told us yesterday they did one from Saranga. And it was how much? 216 quid. 260 pounds. For how long? 20 minutes? 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. It's not too bad, but yeah, I think you need a really clear day. It'd be a bit disappointed if you went up today, you couldn't see much, would it? They don't have to fly right up into the clouds, so they stay below cloud ah. to make it more enjoyable. I'm so thick. I, don't, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> not thick. Oh, I didn't think about that. We were in a helicopter in New York, didn't we? Yeah. On our honeymoon. Yeah. Because I just said I've never seen a helicopter take off and land, but I actually went in one, so again. <laughs> you must have seen them both times. Honestly, it's an awesome out of me sometimes. But we found a bit of pavement now, and there's a tunnel, but it looks like there is a little bit goes off around the side. That's just as well. Because I'm not walking <laughs> through a tunnel. <laughs> so just saying, if you like came here, so this is April, middle of April, 
if you came here during the summer um, and there's not snow up the top of the mountain, there's loads of walking trails, wasn't there? There's loads of walking. Loads of hiking. There's a Via Ferrata, but I think you have to pay a, an activity company to go on that. It's not open. No. And I had thought about maybe hiring bikes, but again, that's not even available at the moment. So it's a little bit limited. This time this of year. Early part of the year. So I think if you came in May. Yeah. You would, everything would be open. End of Saturday. May, June. And then you get this um, midnight sun as well, don't you? Yeah. Um, last week, people were on this cruise. They're beautiful weather in Oldham. But they also got, um, I think it was in Oldham, they got um, an announcement by the captain at about half past midnight to say, there was Northern Lights, you can see Northern Lights. We haven't had that announcement yet, have we? No. <laughs> we might get it. It'd be cool if we do. This is one of Norway's best kept secrets. <gasps> we found a hidden gem. This is the Norway Norwegian Riviera. <laughs> it is. Get a lot of... Um, a lot of surfers come here. A lot of surfers. A lot of VW campers. Back to the ship after what walking about three or four miles mm -hmm. three or four miles to get back to the ship and then came on board had a quick lunch in the horizon buffet yeah and then we were just oh no we went up to the crow's nest so you could have a good a job good dog good dog ipa and um yeah then we went back came back to the cabin because we were not good the glass is fine to be fair. yeah so we had a little bit of a snooze and then we went and watched the sail away mm -hmm. and the residents of Oldham were out waving their flags and playing things. really loud music, yeah. more Stuart music and, yeah. and, and the, the we bridge were and playing the, beeping the horn, beeping the horn, yeah. blasting the horn really loudly. Um, but yeah, so now we're just gonna head to the Olive Grove and have some dinner and um, leave it there. So yeah. we hope you've enjoyed these last couple of days with us in the Norwegian fjords. Mate, they're brilliant, aren't they? They're really so cool. cool. You've got to come and see this. Yeah. Awesome. Or oh, being up there in the snow today. Yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. expect that at all. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Because I'm a bit thick. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, hopefully you have and you um, give us a like, leave any comments, um, ring, the bell. ring the bell, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we will see you in part two. Back on Ireland. Yeah, see you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.